Hi and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to look at how to set up a campaign within Active Campaign. Right, so here we are within Active Campaign. And what we need to do, we need to set up a list, we need to set up a form, and then we need to set up automations. So we create a list, we then connect the form to the list, and then we use automations to let Active Campaign know exactly what we want them to do when somebody comes onto our list. So we create a new list, and we can call this Demo List August. Okay, and we're going to give it give it a URL. And we have to tell people why they're actually getting the uh, newsletter. In this case, all I've done is you're receiving this email because uh, you opted in for daily reports. Okay, that'll do. So now we've created a list. Next, we need to go to a form. And we can create the form, and we can then connect the form to the list. So this is a new form, and we call it Demo List August. Okay, so what happens here is you've got various different um, types of opt-in uh, forms. It doesn't matter which one you use. Um, it's, I've dropped my account down to the actual basic now because I don't actually use Active Campaign uh, very often. I've just got a very small list on here. Uh, I actually use ConvertKit. I actually prefer ConvertKit. I find it a lot easier, and it works for my my way of working much better. So, um, what I re recommend is, as with Active Campaign, as with ConvertKit, as with Aweber. Don't bother using the forms that they give you. Okay, invest in uh, something else like ClickFunnels, Lead Pages, uh, Optin Monster, any of those tools that allow you to create nice, pretty, good-looking opt-in forms. They make all the difference. Even Sumo Me um, uh, works, and it gets people onto your list, and it, it will look always look better than these basic forms that these these give. Right. So demo list August uh, inline form. Subscribe to a list, and Got it here, it's pretty down at the bottom. No, it's not down at the bottom, where is it? Okay, looks like I, I didn't actually create it. I thought I created it, never mind. We, when you, once you create the list, I probably didn't click, uh, connect, uh, click on save or something. Um, let's just call it new subscriber. So we put them on the list, new subscriber, and we're gonna create that. Okay, so now we have our new subscriber list. You've got various options here for integration um, you can embed it you can link it wordpress facebook etc okay as i said before if you can avoid it don't use um, the forms that esps give you because they're not very good okay so now we've got we've got a list and we've got a form and they're both connected up now we're going to go to automation okay i'm going to do new automation i recommend starting from scratch there are lots and lots of pre-configured campaigns here that you can do. Oh, sorry, they, they call them recipes, pre-configured recipes. Um, I always start from scratch. Okay, when somebody subscribes to any list, so um, the list we had was new subscriber. Okay, we wanna run this once and we're gonna add a start. So if someone subscribes to our list, now they'll subscribe to the list of the form, so they'll fill out the form and then they'll go, they'll go on the list. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna send them an email. So we're gonna send an email, create an email to get started. Just give it a title. Um, and we're gonna create that. I've actually got one of uh, one of my recent emails here that I'll just copy and paste. Actually, it wasn't an email; it was a Facebook post, but it will do. Um, so let's go back here. 
we've got various different templates here. I always go, go for build from scratch, text only, um, continue, email subject. Okay. Uh, that's it, next. We can finish that. Okay, so when somebody subscribes to your list, we send them an email. That will happen uh, immediately. You can now do some um, pretty cool stuff here. Um, we can do wait for a specific period of time for 12 hours. Save. If. Select, select condition. Um, what we're going to do? Uh, tag exists subscriber. Right. So this is means has a. I've got a, a tag set up. So what this tag does if somebody actually opens an email and or clicks on a link, uh, they get the subscriber tag. Okay, so I already got this set up in another in another automation, so I'm not going to do that now. So have they got a subscriber tag? Yes. Um, we can then do sending off and uh, we can then, sorry, wait. So this is 12 hours. Wait for another 12 hours. And we can send an email. Um, Create new email. Email to create. Once again, build from scratch, text only. Okay. Continue. Oh, it wouldn't let me save. I wasn't going to save it. Um, and just do it as blank. If you watched the ConvertKit videos, you see why I moved to ConvertKit and why I prefer ConvertKit. Uh, I find it's it's much uh, more fluid, and much easier to set up. Okay, but this actually does more. Um, so it's what you want. Do you want some easy or do you want in depth? Uh, you choose. Right. So um, so after twelve hours, does a contact match the following? Uh, so it doesn't have the tag. Um, and what we're going to do there, we're going to send an email. Okay, so that's, we set up our, our campaign. Uh, we would then do, down here, we'd add all our different uh, emails, email three, four, five, whatever. So what we've done here, so somebody opts in, so contact su subscribes to a new list, new subscriber. Um, we sent them the welcome email, here's your report. We've waited 12 hours. If they've opened it, we've waited another 12 hours and we sent them email too. If they haven't opened it, we've resent the first email. That's it. You can you could tailor this email, create a new email, say, hey, you missed out, whatever. Um, and that's how you do it. And then you just build this up. There's lots of things that you can do within here. Uh, you've got subscribes, add tags, remove tags, scoring, um, lots of start automations, move them to another automation, uh, go to another action, Lots and lots of things. Um, this video really can't go into it because I've done videos of these and webinars that take hours. And then all you've got to do is make sure it goes active. Okay, I'm just going to leave it inactive at the moment. Uh, right, so that's it. That is our automation there. That is setting up our first campaign in Active Campaign. Any questions, please ask below. Thanks for watching. Bye.